welcome back. So today I was running late. I um, had forgotten to set my alarm and in effect I missed my train and had to take the bus in. And the thing about the bus, like every other bus, it stops everywhere and it stopped at the Auburn and then it went to go stop in uh, Federal Way and anyone that's ridden, ridden the uh, 178 knows that the Federal Way stop is where everyone gets on and it gets really filled, the bus. It's standing room only. So if you have your own seat for the first two stops, by the time you get to Federal Way, it's going to get filled up. Yeah, it's, it's just the cost of doing business. So, I'm expecting it, but like anyone else, as um, they're boarding a the bus, I want a good seat mate. I want someone to sit next to me that's thin. In fact, I am hoping for a first generation Asian American. Wait a second. Oh, you son of a bitch. No, you didn't. Get that dirty, perverted freaking mind out of the gutter. The only reason I want an Asian, first generation American to sit next to me is because they're thinner. I don't, I want to be able to have space to, to uh, spread out. You goddamn fucking perverts. Get your mind out of the gutter. So anyway, that's why I want a first generation American. First generation Asian American. And, oh, get the fuck off the keyboard and stop trying to pull some SJW on me saying, Ken Kaufman, racist, 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 racist. Let's call him up. Let's ruin his life. It has nothing to do with race. In fact, I will take a first-generation American Middle Eastern girl. I will take first-generation African girl. I will take first-generation Latin American. I will take first-generation European. I think I named all the continents. But anyway, I'll take first-generation Martian. The reason I'll take, I specifically said first-generation because I want someone who has not been plumped up by the American fast food industry. And once they come here, second generation, I don't care if you're from Asia, I don't care if you're from India, I don't care if you're from from uh, the Middle East, you're going to start eating them, um, you're going to start eating cheeseburgers, you're going to start eating pizza, you're going to be eating chicken wings, and you're going to get plump, and at the end of the day, you're going to sit next to me on the seat, and I'm not going to have any room. That's why I specified first generation. Asians, according to the World Health Organization, which is made up of very smart um, Nobel Prize winners, bureaucrats, um, ambassadors that refuse to pay parking tickets in New York, these are very smart people, and they have said that the Asian Americans, well, people come from Asia, happen to be the thinnest. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. That's the only reason why I said that, but the fact is, is that everyone coming to America first generation is thinner than the second generation. Fuck! I'm fourth generation. Look at that. That's four generations for crying out loud. You know, it's just the way we work it in America. Anyway, now you've taken me off your sto this story with trying to accuse me of being both a pervert and a racist. Jesus Christ. Ooh, I told my wife I wasn't going to swear. That's X that. I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> anyway, so this guy gets on the bus and... Um, Let's just say he was like eight generations of American. He was big. In fact, I think he ate the first seven generations. That's how big he was. And he sits right next to me. I'm like, oh, no. So half of him sits in one seat, and the other half sits essentially all over me. Now, I'm getting frustrated. I'm all crunched up. I feel my back starting to hurt. I can feel myself getting tense. I'm getting really angry. But I'm trying to do self-improvement. So I've been listening to people like Tony Robbins, and I'm trying to get in the Zen state. And I was like, what would Tony Robbins do? Well, Tony Robbins wouldn't be riding a fucking public transfer, but transit bus. Tony Robbins would be in a plane. But what Tony Robbins would tell those of us that have to ride the public transportation is to say, deal with the situation, be calm, understand it's going to come to an end, and make the best of it. So that's what I do. I let my body flow. I get into a meditative state. And I'm like, I'm just going to enjoy this. And as I'm starting to enjoy this, suddenly the guy who was encroaching into my spot, I notice is starting to wrap around me. So all his half belly is starting to wrap around me, almost like a waterbed, but more comfortable. 
And I'm just like, wow, this is really comfortable. And as I start leaning into it, I'm like, oh, and it's, I mean, it's just like a full body pillow, 270 degrees. And if I could have made it 360 for the rest, I would have taken it. So next thing I know, I'm sleeping. I am loving life. And I'm having dreams of fried chicken. It was a great dream, which I found out later was only the smell on his shirt from the fried chicken he ate the night before. But at the time, it was a great dream. And we get into Seattle, and all of a sudden, the bus stops. And I wake up. It's like, oh, this is my stop. I look over to him and say, excuse me, sir, do you mind if I get out? And he gives me a snarling look. It's like, what are you giving me a snarling look? You invaded my space, and I made the best of the situation. I'm not a parasite. I wasn't eating off of him. I was just coexisting. I forget what the word is. I mean, I, I wasn't like one of those birds on the elephant that picks out the, the ticks where we both benefit, but I was benefiting, and he wasn't hurt by the situation. In fact, I gave him actually a little free hugging. If I couldn't get my arms around him, but, you know, my whole body was into him. So he had no right to be mean. But anyway, this is how I'm becoming a better person. I am improving myself. I am making the best out of the worst situations. And um, I am looking forward to, to introducing a new Ken. I think I might have only cursed once or twice in this. I used the JC word once. I am really working on that because I respect and love my wife. And by the way, honey, I did not want to have sex with any Asian girls walking on there. You, I explained to you what I wanted. I just wanted some space. Um, anyway, you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later.